Hi everyone, I'm Laurel from Laurel Resin Art and I'm going to show you how I made this resined cheese board with ocean colours and lovely lacing in that wave that's on the shore. I like to cover my cheese board, the area that I'm not going to resin, with um, cling wrap. It just helps keep it clean because as you probably know, resin is a very messy job. Saves cleaning up later. Now I use just resin, resin. It's a two part resin, part A and part B, one being the um, hardener and one being the resin. And it's easy to measure because it's a one to one ratio, which means you pour equal parts of both into separate cups and it's so easy to make sure you've got the right amounts because you can just eyeball it and see that they're equal. This is the resin part of it. And the first one I pulled was the hardener. This is the hardener. I use a large amount of, a large quantity of resin so you, you wouldn't even need to get that much unless you make boards in, and things in the quantity I do. Now because I didn't need to make much resin because I'm only going to cover a small area on this board, I didn't pour a lot so I was able to mix them both together in the one cup. If I had large amounts, I'd have to pour them into a bigger cup. Mixing the two together is so important. I've never had a problem. It always sits perfectly for me because I do what you're supposed to do. You scrape the sides, scrape the bottom for three minutes. And sometimes occasionally scrape the stick as well. I won't bore you with the whole three minutes but that's the technique you need to do. Now, the three minutes is up, and I'm going to add my beautiful colours. Once again, these are pastes from Just Resin. This one is called Candy Blue, a beautiful, rich blue. It's a luster, so it gets this lovely little speckly light, lights in it when the light's on it. And you can see how little I use. This one is sapphire blue. It's also a, no, 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 yes, yeah, sapphire blue. It's also a lustre, so it has a lovely sparkly look about it. You probably need, for this area that I'm covering, less than a pea size in your containers. This one is turquoise lustre. Then you use a tiny bit of white for the wave and I use titanium white from Just Resin. Now I'm going to pour the mixed resin into those cups. Very little white, not a lot of green or turquoise and perhaps just a little bit more of the, the two blues. You can see I reuse my cups when you leave them overnight if you've used them before, leave them overnight and they, the resin hardens and they can be used again a few times. It saves that single use all the time, which is such a waste. I even use my paddle pot sticks again as well. I use them a few times and have to throw them out. I didn't quite have enough of the blue, candy blue, so I'm just adding a bit more. Now with this method of applying the resin, I'm not taping the board. Sometimes I take the board and then I just pour it on. This way, I'm putting it on almost as if I'm painting it on with my paddle pop stick so it's not too thick. So it, I just put it on up to the sides. So I just spread it out evenly in the area that I want it. Just pushing it up to the sides. Some will spill over, but it's not a lot and you can wipe that up.
And these colours represent beautiful tropical water where in the distance on the horizon you see a dark blue colour and then the water gets lighter as it comes towards the shore. That's the darkest of the colours I'm using. Now this gorgeous sapphire blue. Now I just blend them slightly together with the paddle pop stick because you don't want definite lines of colour. That wouldn't look very natural. Now the turquoise, which represents that gorgeous tropical colour as the water gets close to the shore. Blend it in just a tiny bit. And you can use your finger too. As long as you keep wiping your hands with paper towel to make sure that you're not getting it all over the place. Now this is where I always add a line of clear resin right up against the coloured resin. And I do this for a couple of reasons. I'm going to add the white wave to this and having that clear resin there, when I use the heat gun, it pushes it over the top of it and help breaks it up and create lacing. But it also, you can see through it, and it represents the sand. The actual board represents the sand underneath. A thin line of white, titanium white, right on the edge of where I or just on top of the edge of where I put the clear resin. Don't make it too thick or you'll end up white all over your coloured blue water. You only want it to go part way up your water. Heat it with the heat, your heat gun and just as it starts heating and it'll start moving, push it up and then move on to the next spot. Push it up as far as you want it to go. I don't want mine to go up too high on the board. That's, that's enough. Now, if I let that settle, it'll create some lovely, delicate lacing. But sometimes, oh, I'm just, first of all, I'm going to just define that wave a little bit more at the bottom. You just fiddle with it. This is where I use my torch and I very carefully tilt the board in quick, very short blasts on the white resin. And it just breaks it up a little bit more and gives you beautiful, delicate lacing. Not too much because you could burn it and you don't want that. A bit more fiddling. I like to fiddle. You should never overwork. <clears throat> Never overwork. Once it looks good, stop. It's a very hard thing to do, though. Too much heat can also cause it to burn, to pit. You don't want that. You just go over the final um, thing you do is to just give it one quick blast with your torch, just moving it around to make sure there are no more bubble, uh, bubbles. And I'm just going to blend those colours again a bit because that white's got a bit of a blob there and I'll just move it around just a little bit, not too much, or it'll pour all over the edge. I mean, you will get some pour over the edge and you just need to wipe it off with a paper towel. If you leave it and it dries in the next day, you can get it off, but it's a lot harder, a lot more work. So wipe it off while it's still wet. And if it does dry, I'll do another video to show you how you can easily get it off when it's dried. I always wear gloves and a mask to protect myself from the resin, from the fumes, and I don't want it to get it on my skin. If you've got a door, windows opened, it's well ventilated, you can do a short um, project like this without all that. This is the final product and I'm very happy with it. The lacing's very delicate, the waves look lovely, and I think the colours have blended nicely together. I hope you enjoyed this video and learnt something from it. 
and I hope you join me with further videos. The next one will be how to put a second wave onto this 